good afternoon and welcome to day number 49 of our second annual WSOP Daily Spaces coverage. I'm Peaches, your host for the day, and joining me in the co-hosting position is Dark Angel or Donna Morton. How are you, Donna? Yeah, I'm good, thanks, darling. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Um want to say a couple of reminders. Please be reminded you can find the recording of our past spaces on my YouTube channel at Sherry Pliskoda 9212. Also, thanks to Elevator Results, our sponsor, um, who can help you if you need a tailor-made workout plan to help you lose weight or gain weight. Final Results can design that plan. Follow them on Twitter and check out their site at elevatedresultspt.com. And I'm happy, well, maybe not so happy, but anyway, happy to announce that I'm going to be getting on their plan and um, working some more on my uh, getting back into shape and back onto the track um, here in the near future. So Elevator Results is going to be helping me with that journey. Hmm, can't wait, says nobody ever. Uh, anyway, um just a reminder that our last WSOP daily coverage show is going to be this Thursday. From that point forward, we're going to go back to our once a week uh, space at 4.30 on Fridays. That's Pacific time, 7.30 Eastern time. And my guess is we'll probably take this Friday off just because, you know, that's going to be day 50 something by Friday. And I mean, by Thursday and, you know, I think I deserve a, a day off. So anyway, um, that's where I'm at with that. Also, Trivia Day will be Thursday. Our last show, we'll have a trivia uh, game. I'm trying to figure out how we can do some prizes, but it's just too hard, I think, to make that happen. But we'll do trivia anyway. Should be a lot of fun. I've been working on those crazy questions. Um Spaces Fantasy Poker League is coming to an end. It will end. Uh, they'll probably make the final announcement of the league winner on the official site on Thursday, or I'm sorry, Wednesday evening or Thursday morning. Yes, mathematically we can declare a winner, but I just think we should wait until it's officially over to declare the winner. So that's where I'm at with that. Uh, be reminded if you have an unclaimed WSOP payout, it has to be picked up by 12 noon on July 18th, or you're going to have to schedule an appointment after that date and time to pick up your payout. And you'll do that by emailing the WSOP FAQ at Caesars.com to make that appointment Monday through Friday, nine to five. So get there before you have to go through all that nonsense. Little kudos there to Mike McDermott, um, running deep in the 777 WSOP tournament. So good luck to him on that. Um, updates are going to be a little hard for me today, today at the WSOP. I had to um, contact somebody because I still can't scroll past the, um, I think it's event number 24 online event to get to the other tournaments so I can report on those tournaments. So um, not sure what's going on there. So if you can access on the WSOP site any event after number 91 and want to come up and report on how many, the prize pool, how many are left, whatever, I'd appreciate it because I can't get to that data. I'm not sure what's going on. I, I got on my PC, tried to do it that way can't access it, tried it on my phone, can't access it. I can only get the drop down to go to that, um, I think it's event number 24, the bracelet event online, or yeah, whatever. So I did email or text somebody about that this morning, so hopefully they can give me a solution or, or whatever. But anyway, I can't get the information off the site, so kind of a weird thing this morning to try to do, but anyway... Um, here we are. So if you'd like to come up and report on any event that's after 91, that'll be great because I know there are events going on, 92 for instance, but I can't get to it. So anyway, that's where we are with that. 
want to, um, Brian is not with us this morning because he's off getting ready to enter that 777 tournament. So good luck to him today. Um, hopefully it's going to be the start of a great run in that tournament for Brian. So good luck, Brian. Go get him. Let's look at the winners around town. Over at the Venetian, Jared Mean Hinney, I think is how you say his name, or Heine, uh, took down event number 59, the Deep Stack $1,100 buy-in PLO for 48000 Our space cadet and friend, Andres Fro, um, Fro I think it's Froley, um, did a heads-up chop in the $1,100 PLO tournament for $46,000 in second place. So he has had a great summer. Um, so congratulations to Andres. Clement Gion took down, or did a four, excuse me, did a four-way chop in the number 58 event at the ultimate, and it's an ultimate stack event. Uh, it was an $800 buy-in at the Venetian, and he took home $23,000. So congrats to him. Michael Amato did a three-way chop in event number 60, the Big O Bounty Tournament, for $23,000. So congrats to those winners around town. It's always fun to, you know, see what else is going on in the world. A little hint, and I hinted to this the other day, I love the Olympics. I know many of you do as well. So I asked a friend of mine who is a former Olympian to join us um, to do an interview. And it'll probably not be next week. It might be the week after, which I think is the 28th, if my memory serves me correctly. But anyway, she's going to come on for an interview, maybe give us a little bird's eye view of what you know it's like to be an Olympian. So I'm excited about that because I think the world of her and um, just trying to get the that sorted out for us. But it should be a fun way to, you know, tap into the Olympics as they're going on in Paris. And I got excited because a friend of mine bought me, uh, brought me two Olympic uh, pins from Paris. For those that don't know, I collect lapel pins. And I have quite a collection of pins excuse me, Donna might be able to speak to that. But anyway, uh, she brought me two Olympic pins from Paris <laughs> to add to my collection. You want to speak to that? or? <laughs> yeah, she's mad for pins. I've never seen anybody anything like it. In fact, I might have a look and see what pins I've got the next time I come over. Awesome. I would love that. And uh, Donna's referring to I have these two big display boards in uh, one of my hallways in my home, and they're, um, one of them is completely filled with pins, and the other one, I don't know, is about maybe a third filled. Um, so probably, I don't know, would you say there's about four or five, I don't know, 3,000 pins on there, Donna? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I have Olympic pins, I have baseball pins, Super Bowl football pins, you know, beer pins, you know, racing pins, McDonald's pins, you know, pickle pins from Heinz, you know, Heinz ketchup pins and you name it. Um, I pretty much probably have it. The hard rock pins, Disney. Pins. Yeah. It puts my, it puts my little hat to shame. Cause I've got, cause my mom had a hat with pins on, but unfortunately, yeah. Somebody stole the, uh, oh. children's hospital ones. It was oh. the cleaner. So I can never get them back now. Oh, so. I'm sorry. You should look online to see if you can buy them. A lot of times yeah, you can pick them up online for a dollar or two. And, you know, it's more about the memory of that pin sometimes. Of course. So, um, but I started collecting pins with my dad and my uncle, who I've been collecting pins probably 40 years, maybe a little longer. And my uncle and dad were probably collecting pins 30 years before that. So, and my uncle had a huge political pin collection as well. And when he died, his daughter sold them off before I realized she was even going to, and I didn't even have a chance to buy him. And uh, I was very disappointed in that because him and I traded pins all the time. So, anytime any of us would come across a pin, we'd always make sure we get three of them so we could 
give one to, you know, I give one to my dad and one to my uncle. And uh, so when she just sold off his collection piece by piece, I might add, uh, when I found it out, it was too late. They were all gone and I was just broken hearted. But anyway, I enjoy collecting pins. As a matter of fact, I got some in while I was out of town that I ordered um, from the Hard Rock and their breast cancer guitar pins that um, I will probably give away when I am at a tournament at some point or other. But anyway, there's where we at with that, Brian. I don't know why it's not letting me pull you up, but I sent you a request. So um, if you can't get up there, I know you're going to register. Good luck in that tournament. Keep us updated so we can uh, rail you and celebrate you, bud. I'm not sure why I can't get you up here. But anyway, it's not out of the lack of time. Um, oh, there he is. And like Sorry, magic. Sort of. No, I'm just going to. Say that again. It's hard to hear you. Sorry, I was just sleeping. Oh, I thought you were on your way down to already get the. Um, no, no, I w I'm not really legitimately sleeping. I was just uh, zoning out. Gotcha. Well, you ready for today, bud? Yeah, ready to play another event back in town. Did you see the, the, the small TV they gave me in this room? I saw the TV. I didn't see what size it was. Is it like an 80 inch or something? No, it's about uh, 10 feet tall by 15 feet oh, wide. <laughs> <laughs> it's a drive-in movie. Yeah, tur Turbo and uh, Joe came over and we hung out and watched uh, the final table. Awesome. When is Turbo going home? I thought he was only stranded two more days. His flight got canceled and so he rescheduled and uh, stayed a couple more days. Yeah, I thought that was over already, but I guess he's staying a little bit longer, but that's awesome. That's very cool. I'm glad you guys enjoyed each other's company and that huge oh, yeah. TV. <laughs> That's a I saw the thing on the that it had a home theater in the description of the room. I'm like, okay, I gotta see this thing. I love it. Brian and his technology. He loves that stuff for sure. Let's talk about the main event. We haven't gotten there yet. Event number 81 on the WSOP schedule, there are nine going into tomorrow because today is a day off for those nine players, which I'm sure they're going to appreciate um, having a day off. They are all guaranteed one million right now. Everybody that um, every time they lose a player now, it will be a pay jump from now into the top where there is 10 million waiting for somebody. Today, the chip leader, or not today, going in tomorrow, uh, into tomorrow, Jordan Griff has 143 million in chips. Uh, in second place, the angler, I mean, Brian Kim has 94.6 million in chips. Uh, third place is Nicholas, um, As is it Astet? Astet, right? Has 94.2 million in chips. Joe Sir Rock has 83 million in chips. Jason Sagal is in fifth place with 67 million in chips. Boris, I think it's Argelov, has 52 million in chips. Jonathan Tameo has 26 million. Mela Latanos has 25 million. And our underdog with 18 million is Andres Gonzalez. So good luck to all of them tomorrow, I believe at three o'clock, they get back at it. You have any comments about that, Brian? What did you say? I'm sorry. Never mind. We're moving right along. Um, I want all to right. know if any of you want to do a last longer with the final nine left in this tournament. Burroughs, come on up here if this would be something you're going to be interested in. What if we did a last longer? We all put in 10 bucks, winner takes all, and I'll just draw them out of a hat. What do you think, Brian? I'm okay if I get the chip leader. <laughs> As I said, we're going to draw them out of a hat. <laughs> 
Oh, I don't like your drawing, Sherry. You look at where my team finished. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not, and now we're going to have to listen to Mod Father for the next year about this crap, too. Yeah, perfect. Oh, <laughs> uh, so um, DM me if you're interested in something like that or if I should not spin my wheels. I just thought it might be kind of a fun sweat. Um, you know, 10 bucks a person. So winner takes all $90. So, um, let me know if you guys are interested or not. And we'll go from there. What's the rake on this? Sherry? I never take a rake. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the one. Matter of fact, everything I do for you people, I lose money on one day. People will recognize that. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm <laughs> oh, Oh, Mod Father's trying to join the space. Hold on. He's trying to hold on, trying to find it. I don't know why. Is it not on my um that's where he said he can't see it. Tell him to go to your page and then click on your profile. That's so weird, isn't it? I just shared it to him, so maybe that'll help. I'm not sure what's going on but you know twitter is twitter as they say twitter is twitter i'm sure he wants to come in here and talk about his uh eminent uh winning here of this uh spaces fantasy league you know mathematically i think he's winner but you know until it's officially announced i'm not paying nothing out because i don't want no blowback people we're going with the official word. Oh, I got you, Donna. Got you, got you, got you. Thank you for that update. Uh, she'll be here. And um, I'll tell you what, I'll invite you to be a speaker right now. Um, and we'll just go from there. All right, Brian, what time's the tournament start for you today? 10 o'clock. We're making some... Uh... Lucky Rex poker, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, packing our lunch pail. We're planning for it to hopefully be a long day. Awesome. Are is Abby with it's you? It's always a good day when you get to eat the sandwich. <laughs> right on. Right on. Is Abby with you? No, she's home. She says she has to get ready to uh, for her college oh, stuff yeah. and. All that stuff. I guess they got to buy bed spreads. And oh, sounds like Brian's going to be that, pay, that, paying out the nose today in more ways than one. Oh, my God. Banana no for Abby. And the other one, Jerry, she's telling me she wants to take, um, she wants to try to get this uh, roll um, that's like two hours from our house. And she's like, but dad, I get paid $17 an hour. She's like, I added up, it's like $4,000. And I'm like, yeah, and like $8,000 in gas. I don't know you what know? you mean, this roll, pick up this roll. What does that mean? She, she wants to, in a play. Oh, a roll. Oh, 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 gotcha. Yeah, yeah. she's excited that it oh, pays gotcha. $17 an hour. <laughs> but it's two hours away. But it only cost you forty-five dollars an hour for her to do it, right? And you know who she thinks is going to drive her? This. Well, it sure is it me. It must be you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Six, probably six thousand dollars in gas for her to make four. I hear you. Now tell me, where's Abby going to go to college? Um, she's in senior year at a tech uh, Perfect. college. Perfect. Excellent. Yeah, she's getting her um she's getting her computer science awesome. degree next year. Congratulations to her. All right. Um yeah. besides making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, what else are you doing to prepare this morning? I am well, I was gonna make myself a breakfast sandwich, but I'm I'm running late. So no way. You're running gonna... late? There can't be. Yeah, well, and here's the other problem. I don't have my, you know, my account, so I got to... Um, oh, you got to go pay, actually. Fine. 
and use the credit card. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, hopefully there won't the line won't be too bad today. Do you have diamond status? Yeah. No, but I do have a sneaky way. So hopefully that works. It used to work. We'll see if they button that up. Okay. Never come sneaky ways. No, never do. Never do. I will die with my sneaky Although, ways. Although, I'll tell you, the number one tip for the main event, you know, was given out on this show. And if you were here and you were in the main event, then you did not stand in line for the bathrooms at all. I uh, know. And so. we're not giving that out again. <laughs> no, Speaking as no, a no, female, no. <laughs> we guard I mean, those, we guard those, those secrets. Holding hands. Tom, Dewan, and I holding hands, taking a leap together. Oh, God. And uh, it was... <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus is not there. Oh my God, so funny! That's hilarious, though. All right, let's talk about what's going on at the win. Do you have it? You want me to go for it? I okay. Have it? I would guess though. Let me guess. Twelve o'clock today. There's an eleven hundred dollars. Yep. No limit hold'em. Hundred forty thousand dollars starting stack. Nope. 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 Thirty minutes. Thirty thousand. Nope. Twenty-five k stack. What at the no, win? Yep, and a hundred k start um, guarantee. What about their eighteen hundred hour tournament? Eight, you're, doing, you're doing military time. That's on what these? it's listed as. Like, I didn't do it. They did it. <laughs> six o'clock, and that's a turbo version of the same tournament. Yep, close though. Turbo six hundred dollar buy in, fifty k guarantee. 25k starting stack. So pretty good there, Brian. Pretty good. You were close. Got to give you props for close, my friend. And what about? I memorized the mem- mem- the whole the whole thing. What about the Venetian? What you got? That one I'm not. All right. Today at 11:10 at the Venetian is their $1,100 Big O Bounty 100k guarantee day one A. Or I'm sorry, just day one. 100K guarantee, $1,100 buy-in. 1,810 hours is the $300 no limit milestone survival. Survivor, 10K guarantee, day, uh, one day. A one day event. One day event. Sorry, I'm misreading that. One day. These are one day events. $300 buy-in, $7,500 uh, guarantee on that. Let's look at what's going on in the WSOP. And I want to remind everybody. Uh, with these WSOP schedules, especially the satellites and the landmarks, double check the information because those are likely to be canceled at different times. So you definitely want to double check that before you plan your day or even as your day goes on. If you're going to do one that's later in the day, double check to make sure it's not been canceled. So right now, day 49 event schedule is as follows at the WSOP. 10 a.m. is the 777 Lucky 7's Flight C. 11 a.m. is the 3K Mid-Stakes Day 4. 12 p.m. is the $1,979 No Limit Poker Hall of Fame Bounty Day 2. Good luck to Preston McEwen, who is a friend of mine. 1 p.m. is the 10K No Limit 6 Max Day 3. 1 p.m. is the 25,000 uh, horse high roller day two. 2 p.m. is the $5,300 online high roller final table. 2 p.m. is the 3K PLO 6 max day one. 4 p.m. is the $1,500 closer flight A. Um, those are all the things I can't read on the site, so I can't give you any updates. Sorry, people. Uh, Non-bracelet events schedule for today at the WSOP is as follows. 1 p.m. is their 250 deep stack. 3 p.m. is a $240 landmark for 2K and chips. 3 p.m. is a $250 horse deep stack. 4 p.m. is a $400 deep stack turbo. 7 p.m. is a $580 landmark for 5K and chips. 8 p.m. is a $200 deep stack turbo. 10 p.m. is a $135 landmark for 1,000 and chips and Kevin even um, 
notes at the bottom, some events might not run today, last day for landmarks. So today is the land, last day for mar landmarks and some of those events might not run. So as I said, double check my friends. Checking our comments, ASG, what you got for me friend? Okay, anybody that wants to know the big blinds for the folks that are at the final table, uh, ASG has posted them in the chat, so find them there. Thank you, ASG. Appreciate that information. Very yeah, absolutely. Man, I think Turbo cleaned up the table here, and I don't know what he that was so nice of him, but I can't find the bag that the stuff came in, so I don't have anything to put my stuff uh -oh. in. For Did he day. throw it out in the hallway or take it out to the bigger garbage can maybe, huh? Yeah, he might have. I've got one bag here. What a nice guy, though. Oh, oh I love Turbo. He's such a great guy. He rolled it up here in the truck. Oh, Perfect. Perfect. It just went out. It was pretty, pretty cool. I'm sorry. Last night, it was pretty cool. Last night, we just hung out. Such a nice guy. Oh, absolutely. Brian's getting his uh, man man cave hours with his pals in Vegas. Yeah, but Turbo's got a dark side, as me and Sherry know. <laughs> well, we don't have to give away his secrets. I don't want to know what Turbo or do. Oh my goodness, my friend. That is private information. Is that what okay. said it's on spaces? Okay, <laughs> okay. So since you opened the can of possums or worms, yeah. uh, would you like to elaborate <laughs> for possums. our audience? Uh, you know, your version of playing possum, what that means? They're still waiting to find that out. I've had DMs. <laughs> When you play dead, when somebody comes into your room and tries to wake you up. <laughs> That's what dead possum means. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God, I love you so much. Uh, let's look at what took place in some of the other tournaments. Um, event number 89, which was the 3K... Mid stakes tournament, three million in the prize pool, eleven hundred sixty one entered the tournament. They're down to seventeen, so that's getting exciting. Taylor Black is the chip leader with twenty million. Adam Owen has fifteen million. A notable still in it to win it at number nine in chip stacks is Alec Tur Torelli has seven point eight million. They're all guaranteed fifty two thousand at this point. One million for first, six hundred and ninety-four k for second. Any comments about that one? Yeah, Alec Torelli, a former um, guest of the yep. show. Yeah, yeah. I'll just I'll just say like I didn't know a lot about Alec going into that interview, and uh, he, um, really liked the guy. You know, yeah, and, if, and mean, you know, there's a mixed bag of feelings about him, right? Because of uh, one hand on a live feed table, and that's fine, people can have whatever opinion they want. Um, I happen to like Alec, uh, I've had the inner uh, pleasure to e interview him more than one time, and and every time it's been a great interview, I find him very interesting. Well, there are no doubt in this community some scammers and things like that. But I think that people are far too quick to jump on somebody and form an yep, opinion. Yep, pile on. Yep. But somebody, you know, I think that whatever, like he had some chips that were not in the right place. God knows I've done that before. And then, um, and then people didn't like how he handled it. I can't remember the details. Well, and but and honestly, I, I think that we don't even need to go over it. Honestly, if you know, you know. <laughs> no, no, but but it, what I'm what I'm saying is, they didn't like how he handled it. But in the moment, I don't think that 
I don't remember the whole thing, but there's a very likely that he just, you know, obviously didn't mean to do what he did. And then I think he offered the guy some kind of thing that people didn't think was fair or something. And it's like, well, okay, in the moment, maybe it wasn't quite fair or well thought out, but like, I think you have to do more than that to just assume people. Well, I'm going to disagree. Guys, I'm going to disagree because um, I think some of the, what he did during that hand was very blatant. But like I said, we don't need to get into it. It's yeah, gone. It's uh, water under the bridge. Uh, and honestly, I wish him well. I think um, the world of Alec, I think he's a great poker player. I think he is, um, you know, a good positive in our in our landscape. Um, and nobody's perfect. So here we are. Well, we're hardly talking about men the Exactly. <laughs> but some think of them that way. So moving on to event number 91 is the 3K horse. Uh, 953K in the prize pool. There were 357 runners. Um, Gary Bolden took it down. He was actually in second place as far as chip stacks going into yesterday. He took it down and took home 206,000. John Raysnier, who was the chip leader going into yesterday, took home second for 135,000. So congrats to those winners. It's yeah. awesome. And John Racinger, you know, got all kind of points for that. Uh, let's not forget about our girl, Kristen Foxen. What a great run. Yep. Finishes 13th in the main event. I'm not so sure about the last hand she played, uh, but I haven't dissected it yet. I just remember seeing it and going, ooh. <laughs> but, um, you know, I haven't dissected oh God, it by the numbers reading. yet. So go ahead. She went with a read, you know, one wrong read or a couple wrong reads in an eight day span, kind of expected. But that that's also what separates her. Right. Uh, and I'm going to tell you, she is such an amazing player. She's such a good role model. Um, she's everything right with poker. Love it. Love her deep run. I would have loved to have seen her get in the final nine, of course, but it just wasn't meant to be. And it's okay. But hats off to Kristen Fox and what a great run. I mean, I wasn't as stressed as, as myself busting out, but definitely, uh, definitely was bummed to see her not make the final table. Yeah, it was unfortunate. I was definitely bummed. Uh, let's talk about the Hall of Fame. Uh, our newest inductee, Patrick, Patrick Antonius. So congratulations to him. Um, has had a great career in poker. Of course, not my pick, but you know what? There were a lot of worthy people on that list. And, uh, you know, we'll hit the ground running again in the spring uh, to get John Snoo and Matt's name out there again. And hopefully that they will take more than one person next year just because there's going to be there's such a backlog. I think that we have to come up with a real Hall of Fame at this point. I think that it's really just become kind of this, you know, this thing where, I mean, this, listen, Sherry, Matt's been nominated by the fans, you know, time and time again. Um, also, Mike the Mouth has been nominated time and time again. And you know, just like the player of the year, we have a group of buddies that are deciding who gets in and who doesn't. Um, and, you know, I'm not good with that. So, well, I don't know. I'm just going to give you a. But we, just, we need something else. I'm just going to I'm just going to put a little um, nugget out there that I've actually reached out to somebody uh, to see if we can't do something about the Hall of Fame. So fingers crossed that um, this person I reached out to will help me do what I think needs to be done. So fingers crossed. Go ahead, Donna. Yeah, I was out, just an idea came to me. We need the People's Poker Hall of Fame for those that aren't getting into the WSOP Hall of Fame, whatever. 
we need to take back because WSOP and whatever, they've got their own little click going. And if you're not in the click, yeah, then you're think. not. This is, well, this is what I'm thinking. This is my opinion. It doesn't have to be everybody's opinion. You can go against my opinion, but it's my opinion how I see it. They've got a little click going. And if your name don't fit or your face don't fit, then you don't get in. So people's poker hall of fame needs to happen. Well, and I look at that yeah, a little like differently the in the fact that I don't want to splinter off another group. It, to me, it's like the women's groups. We don't need 15 different women's groups because somebody got mad and want to start their own women's group. We need to fix the issue. We need to fix the issue. And so it should be the Poker Hall of Fame. And it should be a separate entity. It should not be owned by uh, an operator and controlled by an operator that has, um, you know, a foot in the game, so to speak. It has to be a standalone Hall of Fame. And I think it should be built around what's already existing, not recreated into something new. That's just my opinion. Yeah, I totally agree with you, Sherry. But just like, you know, when you get ideas come into your head and you just got to get it out there. It was just one of those things. Yeah, I totally agree with you. WSOP needs to step back from this. It is a role well, of for everybody, not just poker players. It should be for everybody. I mean, Matt's a poker player. Donna, Donna, if they don't, then what you're saying, I think, is valid because they aren't. They certainly aren't listening to what people want. I mean, how long have we said that we, you know, we want a creator category, you know, and and ultimately, the people electing pe the same people over and over, and those people not getting in. Is problem. Is well, and it's a red flag, right? That problems exist. Right. It's a red flag. When the people are nominating and you're still ignoring those nominations, there is a problem. So what's the point in the people yeah. voting then? If they're not if the people that they're voting for aren't going to get the appropriate thing, whatever, and they're just gonna vote for vote in the person that they was going to go for anyway. So there's, okay, now remember, the people are not voting. The people are just nominating. Well, nominating them. Yeah, they're just nominating. And well, that goes back to me saying that the people should have a voice. So maybe 20% um, of the vote for who the inductee is going to be should be a, a, a poker player vote. And that carries 20% of the weight of the vote for the inductee. I think the masses should be involved in the voting process, and I think it should be a percentage of, you know, weighted on that um, on that vote. So anyway, that's where I'm at. Go ahead, ASG. Okay. Except, hang on oh, sure. one second. Except, except the fact that I knew it was going to be Patrick Antonius before the nominations were even in. Oh, I know, and I knew it was going to yeah. not be some people before it was announced. Right. So... Right. So There's a problem. It's like predetermined who's going to get in, and it's predetermined who is never getting in. And that's a and problem. And it's predetermined because of personal, you know, personal relationships. I don't like that guy. He took $10,000 right. off of me in a hand kind of bullshit. And it has nothing to right. do with their abilities or their track record. And, it, and <laughs> believe me. And when they are following it, Sherry, the track record that you speak of is is supposed to be cash games. Well, how do we track cash games? Like, you know, you played a cash game with a buddy, you know, like back in the day. And so he, he gets into yeah. the Hall of Fame, like to dinner together. Like, what is well, this? Well, I promise like, you, I promise you as I live and breathe, I have sent out a message to someone in hopes of working on this whole entire thing. So go ahead, ASG. Well, I'd like take to it say, over. one, Get that, back. you know, Patrick Antonius was one of the 10 people that the people voted for to be the nominee, and that, two, for all the people that call it the WSOP Hall of Fame, he barely, if at all, plays bracelet events. Like, he, he doesn't really do the WSOP at all.
and he doesn't have a bracelet, but that's not the qualification. Right. I know I'm saying are. for those who like to call it the WSOP Hall of Fame, he doesn't fit the criteria yeah. at all. So that kind of counters people who call it the WSOP Hall of Fame. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, kind of uh, guys, I'm, to, I'm sorry, I'm trying to look up something. Um, appreciate those comments, ASG. And I want to bring it up again because I see some new people have come into the room. So um, if you want to do a last longer for the um, final table of the WSOP, 10 bucks a person, winner takes all. Um, send me a message or just come up here and talk to me about it. And it'd be $90 winner takes all $10 a person. We'll do a drawing, you know, just a, it's just going to be a random drawing. You guys know I do the random shit and whoever you get, you get. So um, if you think that's a good idea or not, just let me know. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, and I also wanted to throw in just my personal opinion when it comes to Mike Madiso. Like, when you think of other sports with their Hall of Fames, in my opinion, he's the Hall of Very Good. I don't think he was ever considered at any point to be the best of his era. And that's what I think of when I think of Hall of Fame is those that you think of are the complete top of the top crushers, and he was never there. All right. Thank you for those comments. Um, I'm going to put something into the um, chat. And it's a picture of when they announced the Hall of Fame Final Ten nominees this year. And it says the World Series of Poker announces finalists for the Poker Hall of Fame. That is makes it sound and look like it's the World Series Poker Hall of Fame. Why it says Poker Hall of Fame. They announced. I, 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 yeah. They're saying they're announcing. Oh, I know. It's picky tacky, but it gives the appearance. And, you know, we can't forget that Caesar owns both, right? So, you know, it's about appearances. It's about transparency. It's about let's make sure that those that have the most uh, power and ability to get their way with the powers that be are not doing the same with the player of the year and the hall of fame. It needs to be standalone, you know, revamping some of the rules and regs. And, and I say that with, input from the players not just being dictated to i'm saying let's ask the players how many inductees do you think is do we want every year how should we have a separate category for poker industry people yes or no i mean that's how we make a hall of fame that we would all be proud of not a Hall of Fame that's, fame that's under the shroud of doubt. And guess what? Everything could be a thousand percent above board. But the problem is there are areas that are gray and shaded that give doubt. And that's never a good thing. Never a good thing. I see uh, Brian had to step down. He's probably on his way out the door now that his peanut butter jelly sandwich is fixed and he's going to go register. And good luck to you, Brian. Uh, keep us updated again with um, how you're doing. Yeah, good luck, Brian. Oh, Hex brings up a great point. He wants to know if uh, we do this last longer. For the main event, if there's going to be trades allowed, <laughs> which, uh, you know, some people may want to. Uh, no trades you're allowed. You're so funny, Donna. Uh, you're so <laughs> funny. Donna says, keep it simple, stupid, no trades allowed. So um, it doesn't look like we have much interest. So I'm just going to drop that and keep my life simple today. Um, 
Yeah, I certainly wouldn't want the guy who folded the queens uh, as my pick, that's for sure. <laughs> well, some people might want him because of that very reason. So everybody has an opinion. Well, no, not if it's winner take all. Like he's like, doing his thing for ICM and trying to make as much money as possible, but he's definitely uh, not playing to win. Well, again, everybody has their own opinion on that, right? So that's yours, and we appreciate it. Oh, Bathwater says, what we learned every week on Spaces, don't do betting with Spaces people. Even final table lasts longer. Buy Bathwater instead for buy-ins. <laughs> well, Bathwater... The good news is we don't have those issues with stuff that I do. So there you go. Um, another comment, Dark Angel, who is going to pay for the People's Poker Hall of Fame? You want to pay for it? Maybe we can sell jars of bathwater to help fund it. A lot of people would buy Patrick Antonius's bathwater. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, here comes ASG versus Sherry rivalry. ASG drops facts and stuff goes wild. Nothing's going wild. You wish it would, though, because you're that up mindset, and it's okay. Love you for it. Donna, what are you doing today? Uh, just got kids back together because he went, spent the weekend with his grandparents and his father. Uh, and they've just come back together and they're just clashing. So, like, I'm just going to be fucking hiding out in the way. I might take myself awesome for a drive for in a, a bit. Reason today. <laughs> they clear the kids. Yeah, I'm going to be playing. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing dead possum for kids this time. <laughs> <laughs> ASG. <laughs> ASG. She oh. went, not the same scenario. Caitlin says, not the same you're, scenario. So she knows what we're about. You're not wrong, Caitlin. You're not wrong. ASG, can I count on you to bring 10 trivia questions to the final show on Thursday? Uh, 10 questions on, uh, really, you know, DM me. We'll, we'll, we'll discuss. All right. Just uh, anything poker or Vegas? Okay. Yeah. I'll, 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 um, by Thursday, I'm sure I can figure something out. Sure. All right, cool. Donna, can you bring 10 questions for trivia Thursday? I will DM you later, All my right. darling. Perfect. And I'm going to DM uh, Brian, too, so that um, he can have some questions, too. Oh, and uh, no, I'm, this won't be one of the questions. So I, I <laughs> did see a tweet recently that uh, nobody who registered day two made the final table this year. Oh, interesting. Isn't that an interesting stack? Stat. Stack. Stat. <laughs> oh, who came up with that one? I forget whose Twitter I was looking at, but. That shit's uh, funny. That's funny. I love that stat. So what are you going to be up to later then, ASG, Sherry? Anybody else in the chat wants to come up and speak about what you're going to be doing later, playing poker or WSOP-wise? I'm sure that uh, ASG's probably at work today now. Correct. Yeah, I'm going to go. I have some peaches left over from the weekend sales. So I'm going to go to my doctor's office and dentist office and drop off some peaches for them. Oh, that sounds nice. I'm jealous of your doctors and your dentists. Oh, well, they're pretty good. That's for sure. Um, they've taken good care of me over the last two years. So I uh, want to return the favor. And my, do my doctor comes to my peach stand all the time. Her kids were so upset last summer when we didn't have any. So I'm going to take them probably a half bushel of peaches that they can enjoy. But I uh, don't want to see them go to waste, right? And then I'm going to send some up to um, I'm going to send some up to Rizzo and uh, uh, Jana up in uh, Cincinnati tomorrow, so they'll get them Wednesday. 
friend of mine's driving up there, so he's going to um, take some peaches with him for his mom and for them. So, working on peaches today. We'll have to come over when the peach season's on for definite. Oh Next year for definite. Yes, for sure. Once you have fresh peaches because off the tree, it's hard to go back to anything else. I'm just going to say. Yeah, because James will have finished his GCSEs next year, so like I'll be free for a while. Sweet. I love that. Yes. Love that. I should have asked, where did Bathwater go for buy-ins? We should have asked him to do 10 questions for Thursday. Remind me tomorrow. <laughs> I will do. I will do. <laughs> Those could be some fun questions. <laughs> Oh my God, I love it so much. That's a fun occasion. On this weekend, I had a blast. Awesome. It was so much fun. How did the fun. jewelry show go? It was really good. Um, obviously, Lon got me in on the guest list, so like I was like VIP. And everybody thought I was a jeweler, so I was like sort of networking as well. So it was quite good. Awesome. Yeah, really, really good. She's got my ring, which is 20K. Um, what she made, but it's 20,000, so I'm going to save up for that. I'm going to win in abundance, my dear, and I'm going to have my ring. I love that. What's it? What is it? Describe it. Um, hang on a minute. I've got a picture of it. Oh, shit. Sorry, I didn't mean to mute everybody. My bad. Turn your mic back on, Donna. I've got a picture of it somewhere, I think. If not, then I will have to send you the picture when, I, when I've when i got it. Um, no, I can't find it at the moment, but it's, it's difficult to describe because it's so unique. But it is beautiful, and I've told her she can't sell the ring or not. Hang on a minute, let's see if it's here. Yeah, I've got it. I'll... Take a quick picture nice. of it, and I will send it in the chat. Nice. Very good. Love it. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. We're going to give Donna time to post that picture, and then uh, unless somebody else has something they want to bring up, we're going to scoot on and um, get busy with our day. Yeah, I've just posted it in the chat. All right. Let's see. All right. I'm going to put in the Jumbotron. It is so beautiful. And you said that's $20,000 or euros or what? Yes. 20,000 pounds. Wow, that seems like a lot. All right. Well, I guess that could be your um, engagement ring from, you know, some of these guys that are promising you a card. <laughs> <laughs> you notice I didn't mention any names because I'm just joking around. But uh, anyway, that's funny as hell. Oh, uh, what a beautiful ring. What kind of stone is it that? Says I can't remember what kind of ring it is, but it's up, absolutely beautiful. Off the top of my head, I asked her, but just like, it's just gone from my head. Yeah, she's she's the last female diamond cutter in the country. Uh, she actually cuts, cuts her right, own diamonds. Right. And um, she makes her own jewellery. Um, and I'm extremely proud of her. Awesome. She has beautiful, Extremely beautiful jewelry. I've seen her jewelry in the past, and it's really beautiful stuff. Yeah. Love it. Well, Donna, I'm going to go and uh, shut down this um, space because I've got some stuff to do today.
No worries, my yeah. darling. I will contact you later or you contact me, That'll whatever. That would be great. And thanks for uh, joining me today. And all of you that are listening, thank you for joining us. And uh, those I'm going to listen and replay, we appreciate you and have a great day. Oh, my father. All right. He finally found us. Hold on. I'm going to invite him to speak to see if he has anything to say other than rubbing our noses in it, as my mother used to say. Come on, Godfather. Come on. Here's your chance. Send a request. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's so hard to follow what the hell's going on with this Twitter. I swear to God, you think they're listeners. They're not. They're speakers. You think they're speakers. They're not. They're listeners. Hey, Mod Father, what's up? Uh, hey, can you hear me okay? Yes. And is it clear? Yes. Good. I uh, just sorry I couldn't find you. I mean, I keep getting these messages. This is unable to fetch space. I've sent you a screenshot. Well, truth be told, and I'm not going to call them out, but somebody had you blocked. So we had to rearrange stuff so you can get in. And of course, it wasn't me, people, because everybody's going to be like, Sherry had my father blocked. Not me. Are you there, bud? My father? Did we lose you already? Does it show that he's still with us? It he, it shows his he's still a speaker. But I, Mod Father, turn your microphone on, dude. Is it on? It shows that it's on. I don't know what's going on right now. I think he's reconnecting. Because he's coming up twice. Okay, see, it just shows him as a speaker. This is crazy. Let me see if I push on it. Yeah, it shows, even when I click on his picture, it shows him as a speaker. It's so stupid. All right, my father, I'm going to move you to the goo and come and then just send a request. Let's try this over again. And see if uh, we can get a better connection. Because this is stupid. All right. Here we go. Add you as a speaker. Are you there? Okay. Let me ask you this question. Because this used to be a problem with spaces. Did you come onto this space by the link sent in the DMs? Yes. Okay. Yes. Then it is still a problem. Okay, people. Here's the thing. If I send you a thing that says, you know, my space is starting, don't click on the link there. Go to my page and click, click on the link there or go to the ticker tape and click, uh, click, click on it there. Because for some reason, ever since we started in spaces, if you click on the link in a DM, 95% of the time it's going to give you issues. So anyway. Gotcha. So no worries. Uh, WSOP is wrapping up. I've just got finished with Daniel's vlog for the day. Um, he, of course, we know he won the 50K, but he's been running kind of salty since then. Um, HCL is back tonight live. Uh, all the live games return tonight. So if you want to tune in to watch that, I don't know if, how many people from in here watch that, but so I'm putting that out there as well. I used to faithfully until I got treated horribly. So. Sad. Yeah, but you can't let yeah, but you can't let that one time like run you away, right? Like you know, if I see you in there, you're not going to get treated like that. You know, that was just a one off. Yeah, but no apologies made for it is the problem. Yeah, but, I mean, I can't apologize. I mean, I can apologize, but it does not going to do any good because it, it wasn't me. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, hundred percent. So unfortunate situation, but you know, consequences for actions, right? And I always will support the show. Um, I just, you know, I'm not going to put myself in a position to be treated like that, Mod Father. Come on. No, yeah, I understand. 100%. I, I get where you're coming from, and I apologize that happened to you. Right. But anyways, um, yeah, I've been dealing with some family stuff. Sherry knows about it. It's personal, but I, me, me and Sherry will keep that between us. And so... Um, Who's going to be on tonight? 
scoot out of Vegas. Um, just our normal, um, just our normal. Uh, Raver's going to be on. Um, I think Nick's going to play. Uh, I didn't really see much else, um, but all the normal people that'll play on the Monday night game. So uh, Max Payne Monday. Awesome. Good luck to everybody. And uh, you've been doing the mod modding for uh, Poker there Go this summer, which is awesome. Yeah, I've been pretty busy. I stay pretty busy during the uh, WSOP. You probably see me a lot of places and wearing a lot of hats, doing a lot of things, not just, not just moderating either. I'm doing some stuff behind the scenes too, for some of these companies. So pretty cool. Stay pretty busy. Um, maybe moving to Vegas soon. That, that's probably the latest oh, news. Wow. I might be possibly moving to Vegas, but I don't know. I mean, I don't know if I can even handle, I don't even, I mean, I can handle Vegas when I go out there, but I mean, I can only go out there for like two weeks at a time. Any more than that, I want to pull my hair out and I'm already bald. So I don't know what we're going to do there. Well, and how are you going to live without your home game? How many years have you been doing your home game? Uh, going on 13 years. So yeah, um, that's a big, a uh, bit, yeah, but the, the Costa Rica thing, I don't know if I've talked to you since uh, for a while, but that's kind of, it's kind of um, imploding in front of my eyes, if you will. I think I told oh. Stephanie about it. There's a couple of people I've told about it, but not sure who I've told, but anyways, so I don't know if I'm going to be, closing shop there it, it, it inevitably looks like i will be but i'm not a hundred percent sure so and a lot of my guys will come to vegas to support i think so i don't know how that will work and how often i could run them yeah. um, so it just depends there's a lot of things up in the air balancing a lot of things as always typical mod father shit i hear you well good luck with it all and um you know the uh, fantasy league will be done on Wednesday. As soon as they make the announcement, I'll ship the money. Okay. Oh no, you're good. I was just giving you a hard time. I just thought it was kind of funny when I, I sent that thing with that ice cream guy from like, <laughs> India. Those are so funny. I get a kick out of watching those. Do you watch those? <laughs> They're so funny. <laughs> they They're are so funny. So freaking funny. Really? Uh, tickle my funny bone every time I see. Yeah. If nobody knows what me and Sherry are talking about. It's the, uh, there's some ice cream vendors in like India and places where it's pretty hot. And so you walk up to an ice cream vendor to get an ice cream and they play these games and they, they do all these little fun little things that they do to keep you from getting the ice cream. And it's pretty funny. And some of the guys are really good at it. And so it's amazing. Some of the stuff they can do. So that's what we're talking about. And, and it's, it is amazing. <laughs> like, I'm like, how did he defy gravity right there? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I like it when they crazy. slap them with the ice cream in the face. <laughs> <laughs> the slap in the face at the end when you actually get the ice cream, but you can't eat it because it's just on your face, right? It's all over you. Oh, my God. It's so funny, That's funny. to watch. Is Brian not in here? I was hoping to say hi to Brian since I got to finally meet him in person. Um, I, I promise I was at the WSOP. People don't think I was, but uh, there's a few people that can attest to it that I was there. Whatever. Whatever, but Brian had to go play a tournament, so good luck to him. Oh, he's going to be still playing. I, I don't know if he yeah. was still in Vegas or not. So He just came back yesterday, last night, and um, hung out with his boys um, and is playing the 777 tournament today. I uh, got you. Well, I just say this about Brian. Like, I finally, finally got to meet him. He's a really funny guy. Like, he's a really cool guy in person. I don't know if many people got to meet him, but Sherry can speak for this as well, obviously. Um, he's just a really funny... Listen, do not pump up his head more than it already is. Are you no, not No, I'm not pumping up his head. I'm just saying he's, he's pretty He's pretty fun to hang out with, is all I'm saying. He is fun to hang out with, and uh, he knows I'm just kidding. Um, great guy, great family man, great poker player. Um, you know, yeah. Great. Yeah, I'm great guy in the <laughs> Go ahead, cool chick. How huh? welcome. Hey, um, I know you want to go, but just real quick for Twitter, make sure your apps are updated before you get on the space. I've never had an issue with the link you send me in my DMs. It's always worked. But um, another thing, especially if you're on Android, I don't, I'm not real familiar with iPhone, but make sure you go in every so often and clear your cache or catch or whatever it's called. And it's, that, that's on your apps and then in your app settings of the actual Twitter app. Um, and then if you're still having issues, you can always force stop, close it out, and then open it back up. And you can always just toss your um, tablet against the wall. I've done that a few times. 
you can actually I don't suggest that because that's very expensive and I know I don't want to replace one so oh, no that's right well thank you for those tips appreciate that cool check hey Steph what you got well, before you ended the space, I just wanted to say Kristen Fox in next year. She's taking the whole thing. Just saying I was rooting for her and she got so darn close uh, to making the final table. But <clears throat> I believe in her for next year. And yeah, the mod father, he was out there in the streets. Uh, I got to say hello. So he was there. <laughs> Yeah, Steph knows I was there. Awesome. That was and that and and to speak on the Chrissy hand, that's not that's not a punt. Like people have to understand that's I've getting it a lot in tech and messages and chats and things. That's what she did is in my opinion really not a punt. She's happened to be against the only guy that's not going to fold two pair in any situation on any board texture in that particular hand. I think if you give that hand to Tamayo, I think he folds and not because he folded those Queens cause he's ICM, um, you know, keeping up with the ICM. But I mean, I think there's a couple other guys at that table that also fold to her, give her credit for the straight fold the hand, go to the next hand. Right. But Joe just doesn't, he's just old school. He just, he just goes with his gut feeling. And, um, that's, that's kind of what she ran into. She ran into the wrong guy at the wrong time that had the hand. Well, and that's usually, you know, things work every time, but the last time. Right. And, uh, she had a great run, and uh, I could not be happier for her. Of course, we all wanted her to finish it out, right? But uh, it wasn't meant to be. But yeah, uh, she's a good she's a good poker player. Awesome. Regardless of sex, she's a great poker player. Like she right. beats constantly, outruns these men in all these events all the time. Like Chrissy B, I call her Chrissy B. I'll always will. Uh, Chrissy B. She's she's like. She's the real deal. I mean, not, not just because she made, you know, near the final table or whatever of the main event. She always is cashing big against the strongest fields. So let's quit, you know, quit saying, you know, about her being a woman. Let's just say that she's 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 one of us. She's a she's just a poker player. We're all poker players. Well, and, you know, her record speaks for itself. Um, we certainly don't have to speak for it. Four time bracelet winner. You know, uh, we're excited that she's. Uh, give an injection to the arm of females in poker right now by finishing yeah. 13th and yep. uh, we celebrate her and her accomplishments uh and she's just such a great example she's everything though that's right um in the poker world right um i mean i don't have no problem with her she's always been kind to me she's always she's always took the time to say hi or whatever every time i've ever approached her so i have no problem with her in that respect but yeah, it's a it's a shot in the arm for women in general in poker, but I, I personally just like to drop the the tag and just say as a as a poker player in general, she's just really good for the game. I'm curious. I would, I think I'm she sorry, inspired Stephanie. all like men and women. Like she just really is a class act. Yeah, for sure. Go ahead, cold chick. I was just curious um, if you guys, in that same scenario, would you guys have went all in like she did? Or I, I don't know. I was a little surprised when I was watching it. it okay, the, I'm definitely not going all in there. I'm just going to tell you right now, I'm not going all in there. Yeah, because she, what she did was she, she actually check raised, if you remember. She put a small amount in, and then, and then he re-raised her, and then she jammed. So maybe maybe she was putting him on, you know, some kind of a gut shot straight with a flush draw, perhaps. I haven't got to talk to, you know, I mean, I mean, she just said she went with a read is basically what she's saying, that she thought she was good, and that's why she did what she did. But, right, right, I mean, right, right. I'm like Sherry. I, I'm like Sherry. I don't think I can – I don't think I can – after getting – after check raising there, I'm not – definitely not going to get it in. I'm just going to call – uh, Joe's bet and and see the turn, you know, and then if it's that's a, such a dry turn card that it might be just easy to get away with the hand after the turn because we all know if you've been watching this coverage, I mean, it's unbelievable how this swings of these games. I mean, this kid from um, wherever he's from, I uh, can't think of his name, his last name starts with an L, like he was chip leader going into yesterday, and then at the end of the day, he's like second from last in chips. Yeah, that's so I mean, it's left, such a yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's so swingy, right? Like it's so swingy. So even you, I mean, look you, at Kristen Foxen; she was down to five yes, or six million. Yes, 
Yeah, and she was down to five million when she hit that river. By the end yep. of the day, one of the chip leaders was like sixty nine million. You know, yeah, she whatever. had sixty. Yeah, she got it up to sixty. I think she peaked at like sixty four million or something like that. So I yeah, you're exactly right. But anyway, well, maybe even sixty nine. But, but my point is, is, you're right that that you know just because you lose a hand or you lose some chips, you know, and then they're talking about Tamayo's fold with the queens. I mean. That's just an ICM fold, right? Like he doesn't want to get out of position with a couple of guys that are just really deep stacked and have all the chips and have to go against them when when the king hits the flop and now he's got to continue with the queens. He just wants to get out of the hand and go to the next hand. Yeah. And you know what? Everybody has their way, right? And and guess what? That's what he wanted to do, so it's correct for him. And, and if you watch that, it's it just tells you poker's not dead, right? Like if you got guys folding queens, <laughs> you know he he could make that nine million there and probably take the pot down more than likely. But who knows? I mean, somebody might you know want to knock him out of the tournament and call with you know King Jack or something and hit a jack. So you never know. You never know. You know, just like Christy, how many times did she hit something on the river that we're all like, holy shit, she just hit the river, the king on the river, or, you know what I mean, when the guy hits yeah, yeah, there's she several. hits the king on the river. I yeah, mean, so there's several rivers she hit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the ace on the river. I mean, you know, and you could say that about several players in, in the tournament that we saw hit a river, uh, or the ones that got destroyed by the river, right? And so that's poker. But Emerald uh, Clem used to say, if it wasn't for the river, there'd be no fish. Well, you know, you sw you sink or swim in the river. You sink or swim in the river. That's for sure. Well, I'm going to sign off because I have shit to do today, folks. Appreciate y'all joining us and um, have a safe day. If you're on the felt, good luck. If you're not, go touch the grass. It should be nice out in most places right now, hopefully. Call your mom, tell you love her. Definitely call your mom. She needs to hear that. Thank you all for listening. Have a great day, everybody.